Hey, it's Tom with All Spot Video, Street America Homeless Outreach Ministry here in Beaufort, South Carolina. And we're going to go out and we're going to feed Terry. We're going to feed Mike. Uh, we'll probably see Ashley and Eddie, a uh, possibility. If so, we'll see if they want some Salisbury steak with some um, gravy, rice, green beans, corn, um, and then whatever drinks we have. Um, we still have some Gatorades here uh, that was uh, that was donated. And um, we don't have any more iced teas or anything like that anymore. We ran out, so we'll have to make an order to Sam's or wherever we can get it. And, uh, you know, be able to go ahead and get the things that we need to restock. Um, I did see one of our homeless last week uh, as I was leaving. And he... I think he's going to be back in the picture as well. Um, so we're getting some of our homeless back. Um, I think with, with me talking to Ashley and Eddie and getting all this nonsense straightened out. That's what I call it, nonsense. Because when you get the homeless that start dictating on what they like, what they don't like, and they're going to, you know, if their family gets involved, but their family is not homeless, and they are, and... There's a lot of things involved there that I don't get in with. I don't, I don't, I don't talk to individuals about their situation uh, because that's their privacy. And all I know is they're homeless, and um, the things they do on the side is basically their business. So, do I agree with it? No, I don't. But that's not, it's not my call. They have to live with themselves. But if I can bring them the gospel bring them some gospel tracks. I have been putting in the bags and stuff that I've been getting. I've been putting in um, these chick tracks. And if you don't know what chick tracks are, they're these um, little booklets put out on a chick publication. And there's all kinds of different stories. Um, like this one. Or this other one that I showed you. Um, so they have different books that deal with different lives on how that they um, came to get saved, came to, to know the Lord. So these are something when you deal with the homeless, sometimes you have to deal with their imagination. And the chick tracks deal with an individual's imagination so they can actually see a picture along with scripture and different events that are taking place in lives. So you can never tell what God will do. I'd like, what I'd like to see with the homeless, I'd like not to see them. I'd like to see them in a home. I'd like to see them somewhere on their own doing good. So anyways, God can do that. And I believe he can. And so I give them the gospel tracts and I'll give them these chick tracts because I believe they meet the homeless and their situation, their imagination, the life they live, if they're on drugs, normally seeing something like this and reading it uh, can deal with their heart. The Holy Spirit of God is not beyond saving. You know, the hand of God can save. The Holy Spirit of God can convict. And the Lord Jesus will save. And so he said he would. And that's what the whole thing about the ministry is trying to get to the hearts of the individuals, not just the stomach, not just the stomach, but getting to the heart of the homeless and having them to be able to trust me as well as trust the Lord. So I would rather them trust in the Lord than to be trusting in me, but I represent the Lord, so I have to have some credibility. So this is Tom, Street America Homeless Outreach Ministry, on spot video here in Beaufort, South Carolina. And we're going to go out, We're gonna, like I said, we're doing Salisbury steak and gravy. We're doing rice. We're doing green beans. We're doing, uh, maybe I'll throw off, I have to see how much room, I'm only taking one cooker out today. And so the one, one warmer, and I don't have everything I need in it. And uh, so let's go see if we can help somebody today. So thank you for... Thank you for being out there. Thank you that have donated. Some of you are donating through PayPal, and it is a blessing. Thank you. Keep on donating, and your money will go to getting the food that we need and for the help that's needed for our homeless. 
So we do thank you so much and do pray that uh, God richly blesses you for all that you do. So thank you. So we're going to get finished cooking. We're going to get the Salisbury steak finished up. We're going to get the rice cooking and everything else that we need to get done. So thank you for tuning in. Go with us out here today and let's go see if we can help somebody. Amen. And we have the food ready. So we're going to go ahead and get it loaded. I already got the drinks loaded. Um, let me show you. What, let me show you what we made. We got some rice. Oh yeah, buddy. We've got some Salisbury steak and gravy. Oh yeah, buddy. And we've got some green beans. And we've got some warm peaches. Hot peaches. So, we've got that ready. And so, we did, instead of doing corn, we did some, some peaches. And I've got some cupcakes that I had frozen, some cupcakes. I'm going to take them out as well. Give those out. Maybe put some hot peaches on top of those. Vanilla and chocolate cupcakes and stuff like that. Putting peaches on top of that. Might be pretty good. I don't know. We'll find out. Anyways, come on. Let's go and feed somebody. I'm going down here to the Walmart area. I've got a... There's a guy. He's holding a sign. He's wearing a hat that's kind of covering his whole head. And then when he puts a sign up, he covers his face. And um, I don't, I've never seen him here before. And sometimes we get these guys that just get out here and, you know, they're not really homeless. They just get out here to scam people for money. So we're going to go out here and check him out real quick. So I don't know who he is. I've never seen him before. We'll find out. That's what the ministry is about. We'll find out who needs help and who don't. But I just thought it was a little suspicious. Yes! See, you got one. I didn't know. No, I had two or three. Oh, I see. They came by and brought you a hot somebody, meal. And somebody gave me a hot meal. Yeah. So. Um, uh, preacher and his wife. I got the card. I haven't had a chance to look at it. And here's another cold water. Thank you. Thank you. Where so are you from? I haven't seen you out here before. I'm, I'm from Illinois. 
Illinois? Yeah, my dad what was in the Marine here? Corps. My dad was in the Marine Corps, and I've been stuck in Buford. But I can't get back to Illinois. There's, there's no way. Are you so, wanting to go back to Illinois? I, always, I just, I, I got somebody to let me stay on a couch. So I'm not homeless. I'm not in the woods. But if somebody's let me stay on the couch. I have to pay her money. But I just lost my job in Zaxby's a dishwasher. Because of medical. I got a cyst on my liver. Yeah. And they took me off the schedule for two weeks. I called them last night and they said, you haven't lost it yet, but you most likely have. Uh, I'm Preacher Tom, so I just came out. I saw you holding okay. a sign. Thank and, you. Uh, thought you might want some cold water. I also serve hot meals, but I see they already brought you oh, a yes, meal. Yes, sir. This is, looks really good. I can't wait to get to it. Yeah, they're, I just met them today, the preacher and his wife. She said she's here. Yeah, so something. I'm glad they came. Yes, sir. So Thank you for the bottle of water. Not a problem. Um, I had hot meals to give to you as well, but oh, I, I see you've already got no, one. No, I got this one. I here. see you got one. Thank you. All right. You take care of yourself. Yes, sir. I'm not going to say too much about um, I'm not going to say too much about her I think you're a little strange but um, when I have folks out here like that and they're here for some reason they are but she's not homeless. She's staying on somebody's couch. And uh, regardless, I would have gave her a good hot meal. But I've met the preacher and his wife that are doing a ministry out here now. Praise God. I'm glad of that. Can use, can use all the help we can get. Um, so maybe that's good. Because if they're coming out on Sunday and bringing meals, that means I can come out on another day. So... And I'm supposed to get with this preacher and his wife and talk with them about some things. So, Lord willing, can you never tell. So, all right, let's see if we can help somebody else. How are you doing? Oh, thank you. Still gotta oh, stay God. hydrated. Yes, this is great. Thank you. Uh, is your cooler got ice yeah. in it? You got ice yes, in it? Is. Yeah, we'll put that in there with the rest of your stuff. Oh, Keep right. it cold unless you want to drink it. Let me go give him one too. Hey, did um did Ashley give you that bag? Uh, last week. Last Sunday. Last Sunday I was out here and Ashley was out here. And uh, I gave her a bag that had some stuff in it for uh, you. I never received it. You never got it. She said she was going to find you. Oh, yeah, she must have forgot. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see her, tell her, where's my stuff? I will. <laughs> Take care now. Take care now.
Mike and Mikey. Mr. Mike here. Terry, not sleep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't got no hearing in that right here. So how's things been going, Mr. Terry? Good, 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 good. Yeah, I'm starting my little, you know, my little, you know, my, you know, my artist. So I did this little Dallas Cowboy. I found this piece of wood and I just drew the, drew the helmet. And man, I dressed it up so pretty, man. It's down at the shop. You know, I'm selling for like a hundred. Mm -hmm. So the guy, you know, I work with him down there. So I ain't, I ain't really told him yet, but I'm probably getting getting him tomorrow. But yeah, things going pretty good with that. You know, that's my thing. That's your thing. Yeah, that's my thing. That man. Terry thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Terry's thing. Yeah, man. Yeah, God bless me with that, man. Well, yeah. good. Oh yeah. Got to have some blessings. Yeah. How about a hot meal today? Yeah, man. Yeah, I, I was just yeah. trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out, how, what am so, I going to do today? Yeah, yeah. I was just trying to figure out what I'm going to eat. Man. I ain't got nothing to eat. I was trying to scrape up some pennies. And I started finding, you know, I'm trying to clean up because I've been lazy about that lately. But Stop I it. Find, I started finding little pennies and nickels. <laughs> so let me pennies see. and nickels. Yeah, let me see if I can... Go see if I can find me some bazooka yeah, bubble gum or something. Man, something. <laughs> I did get a found a loaf of bread in a trash can up there by the gas station. And uh, do you need me to bring you a loaf of bread every once in a while? Yeah, if you can, yeah, I love bread. Man. I didn't think I never, I didn't never, never thought about it, Terry, yeah. but oh yeah, man, my mama used to bring me by, by, by the, the family loaf. And she would buy me a loaf. <laughs> she would buy me a loaf and tell everybody that Terry loaf of bread. Now. That Terry loaf. Yeah, yeah. And I used to like to get it and squeeze it. You know, that white, uh, and see what kind she used to buy. I figured but it was nice and soft, though, you know. So I get it and squeeze it. And I just do all kinds of stuff. Oh. Put, uh, get me a little milk. Put some sugar in and sweeten it and dip it in <laughs> dip the bread in the milk. <laughs> Terry was doing it. <laughs> yeah, man. So how you been though, man? I have been busy. Busy? I can't yeah. believe that. Well, I've been to church. We we had revival meeting this week and so I've been going there and listening to some preachers. Okay. okay. And uh Preachers need preaching too, you know. Yeah, okay. So. <laughs> yeah, they, they ain't perfect now. No, Nobody's sir. Perfect. And I never come out here ever saying I was perfect. No, I, well. But know. I come out here just trying to help folks. Yeah, yeah, help. Yeah, that, you so. know, and that's that's what I want to do too, man. In the end, right? This, excuse me for changing the conversation right quick. All right, don't bother me. Change I, it. I uh, have this, this sportswear line of clothes. Yeah, you mentioned about yeah, that. And yeah. somebody's already got the name. But, yeah, but let me hold on. Let me show you. Right. Yeah, it's just a matter of time for this football too. Yeah, it's a company's already there. Um, what you had mentioned.
here. Yeah, there is this. He's just going through a little phase right now, but man, I'm finna come up and fix that do it to it. Yeah, I'm finna help help athletes, but it's gonna be like special kind of athletes, like mm -hmm. kids that's that's not uh physically able to get into it but some kind of way i'm gonna figure out challenge yeah yeah they physically challenge okay because you know every kid want to get out and play and, sure they do you know and i'm a, I'm, a, I'm just gonna just be honest i'm a big kid i like to get out and try to play too <laughs> <laughs> yeah me too <laughs> yeah i still love my sports but help athletes reach their dreams that's what this and so i kind of got a little spin off help on athletes it. reach dreams yeah reach the dreams and then I got this, this, this. Remember I was saying hardware? Well, now it's hard and soul. It's S O L E. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have my own shoe line too. Well, hard and soul is, is a company yeah. already. Hard and soul? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. I looked it up. You serious? I am dead serious. It's spelled, is it spelled the same way? Same way. Dirty rascals. They do sports clothing. You care? You serious? No, I'm dead serious. Oh man, they done stole me. I'm thinking I'm the only one thinking like this. <laughs> okay, well. Well, I'm going to have to come up with a new, new twist. But this is going to be uh, one of my uh, logos. Yeah, that's one of my logos. Yeah, that's nice, Terry. Yeah, I just got to color it up and stuff. Color it up? Yeah, see. Got my little... little uh, no. Heart and soul clothing. It kind of got me. Chores. I know. Products. Hats, hoodies, t shirts, bomb jackets, mm -hmm. masks, jerseys, hard to order. I want all that stuff too. Yeah. yeah. Seems like I saw another one though that was. Yeah. Um, what, what made you look for that? Because you told me about it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And I said, hmm. I said, well, let me see if someone already has that. Yeah. Okay. And then I looked at the um, domain names to see if there was any domain names, which is websites. You know, like okay. you go to mm -hmm. Lowe's.com or this.com or oh. heartandsoul.com. So I'm a dot comer. I've got websites. So. Okay, yeah. Um, I was just doing some research for okay, you, Terry. All right, all right. I appreciate it. I appreciate it because I, you know, I really had no idea. Nobody was really well, thinking about it all those terms. Yeah. Well, see, that's just it. People got so much time on their hands. That's what they're thinking about. Yeah. And I don't have a whole lot in them. Even when I do, I like to sleep it away. <laughs> yeah. I finally decided I was going to sleep the day away today, but I finally got them and said, "No, I got to clean this place up." You know, I don't want nobody coming up. You know, I don't like people like yourself or you know I got my boss my ex boss he'd like to come up sometime and bring a little tray here and there mm -hmm. yeah 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 that's Curtis Bean Pastor Curtis Bean Pastor. How you doing, Doc? How you doing, preacher? Doing good. Doing good. good. I heard about yes. you. you doing, man? Yes, I'm doing great. How are you? Doing heard a lot about you. Well, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I yeah. hope it's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, <laughs> I hope yeah. it's good. I just want to put a name at the. I can put the name at the face now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me give you. Uh, I'm gonna give you one right now. Yes. Yeah, I just fixed up one warmer today and just brought out some. Okay. Some um. So he's putting hot sauce on his stuff. Yeah. Some green beans, rice, and some Salisbury steak and gravy, and some hot peaches with some um, cupcakes I had in the freezer, and took them out so he could put them hot peaches on top of that. That's what I got there. I gave him some cookies. So you make it I when you um, come out to them. Okay. Oh yeah, I serve it out hot. Oh okay. We fix I, it hot from the church, and then we hurry up and go out and pass it like right there we go they back get cold yeah by yeah. the time i mean if you're doing a lot of people but i was no, i go out only, right now we've only been doing 30 25 to 30 and the majority of them been right there by walmart so yeah. our daughter works there she'll tell them to meet us there like 11 right. 30 12 on sundays so we just know okay they mentioned y'all they they yeah. said they said there's a, a preacher and his wife comes yes, out that's yeah. us. 
Excellent. Well, great. Praise God. I'm glad that uh, I'm glad there's somebody else out here. Yes, yeah. yes. And because there's it's, this other lady down there by um, Green Street. They do every Friday night. They said. And I, so, well, I know down at um, I know um, down at the park. Washington yes, Park, I didn't they know serve. About that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they serve I there. I just found out about that. Yeah, I've been doing this like almost 30 years. I mean, oh, it's, wow. In Buford, I've been doing it. Uh, I didn't do Buford for a long time because we didn't have any homeless. Uh huh. Right, right. Not like we do now. Right, right, yeah. Right. And I was going to Savannah, mm -hmm. out in the cane fields behind the horse stables and stuff like that, oh, feeding yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Went to Atlanta, down out, down on White Horse, down on with the old factories and stuff were tore down and stuff. Yeah. And I fed out there in Charleston. So oh. I was doing three. Yeah, when I went to Atlanta, I was there for like two weeks. Uh -huh. Just stayed. Yeah. I stayed there. There was a church down that way. They had prophet chambers and stuff. I just stayed in there. Yeah. Went out to Atlanta and fed and stuff like that. And then I found out we had homeless here. Yes. And I said, this is my Samaria. Yeah. This right. is my hometown. Yeah, that's right. That's and right. so I left all them alone. And I mm -hmm. said, because they have missions and all that stuff. But we don't got nothing here. Yep, yeah. you're right. We don't. And they just, I just don't. saw, read something where they said, Hey, Buford got a mission, you a shelter. Me? Thank you. And and hard I wrote on it. I wrote on the, the thing when I saw it on Facebook. I wrote on there and said that I've got Streets of America on Star Reach Ministry. And I've been doing that for years. And I said, Hardyville is not Buford. Thank you. It is not. It and is I, not. Said, you need to, I said, County. you need to rephrase that. That's correct. Um, That's so, correct. But normally these news people, mm -hmm. they're from out of town. They don't know nothing. Yep, I agree. I agree. So, you got his card? I know. You get it right now. So I'm going to call you, so just in case, you know, you can tell me, give me any tips and bits and things of what to do. So I got some, so I'm an assistant principal as well at the school. Oh, okay. And so I had some teachers that wanted to start going out to help us as well. They came over from Jamaica and they used to do that what at school? home. At Joseph Shanklin Elementary School. Oh, okay. So, so I'm an assistant principal there. I used to be out at St. Helena Elementary. Um, I've been in Jasper County, Sumter County, and Lee County, but Curtis is born and raised here, so we got married for the last 15 years. <laughs> So yeah, so I've been um, working in the school, and so when we started our ministry, God started having us come out and started doing this. We started yeah. this in December, and so we've been doing every Sunday. Um, we've been going out right after church, cooking and putting the food together for them. Because I just talked to Eddie and Ashley out there by Walmart. Yes. I yeah. talked to them, and they said, uh, yeah, there's a um, uh, preacher and his wife coming out, and I went, yeah, oh. that's us. Eddie, Ashley, Amanda, mm -hmm. yeah. um, Jillian, the Thank ones you. who got burned up in the tent. And well, get, get yeah, in yeah. Well, I, I, Ashley's daddy—that was Ashley's daddy—that got burned up in the tent. Oh, I yeah, didn't... yeah. Mike. Um, oh, okay. uh, I didn't know that was a daddy. Yeah, that was her father. Oh wow! And, and then uh, the husband and well, the, well, Eddie, the couple. The, yeah, um, they got um, burned up in the tent. Jillian and Jeremy. Jillian is a. Um, I heard about somebody else getting burnt in the tent. Yeah, that's Jillian and Jeremy. But They're they've been back, talking though. about. They're back now from Charleston. And okay. And they ended up getting arrested for burglary right before the storm hit. Right well, that's like the storm. that's like um, Ashley, Daddy, which I call him Grandpa. Uh huh. Um, he was in jail last week when I uh -huh. talked, or week before last when I talked to her for robbery. And yeah, yeah. So they've yeah they spent a lot of time back and forth at the jailhouse. Yeah, yeah. And because yeah. um, they were telling us they didn't have anywhere to stay for the storm. And I was there. like, y'all, we're going to find out. So Battery Creek ended up being right, but that was like the day after. And I'm like, that didn't help. Well, well I'm going to be calling you, Curtis, or I will be calling the talk. Curtis. And I'm Daphne. Daphne. Yep. Mm -hmm. Good to meet you. I'm glad to meet y'all, too. And I'm, thank the Lord y'all are out here. Yes, sir. I've always said for, for years, I've been out saying, I wish somebody else would come out and help. I, oh, wish, yeah. somebody, I wish the churches would get a burden. Yeah. We always talk about helping those overseas, but we don't ever talk about helping them across Thank the street. You. Exactly. And, you yes. know, across the street's one thing, and across yep. the seas is another. But That's right. Why don't we help our own over here? That's correct. And I'm not for not helping. Believe me, we support missions and all that stuff. But the thing about it is, you got to take care of home. You got to take care of your neighbor. That's correct. Because this is a mission field. It is. It's big it totally one. Totally is. Yeah. But we'll be calling. All right. Thank you. Lord we'll bless. All right. Yes. All right. I'll be safe. All right. All right. Did you get, let me get, finish fixing your bag. There you go. I took the tail up there, so I'm going to do that when I get there. There weren't no flies all over it. Mm -hmm. It ain't coming yet. Yeah, I'm glad that I got a chance to eat. I can 
Oh, we did? Yeah. Well, I'm glad God's working on his heart to come out here and do this. Yeah, yeah. I'm tickled to death. I'm tickled to death. And, you know, and, I, and, and the thing about when you meet different preachers like that, naturally, mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, yeah, look in there and see. I, I normally try to leave you. I yeah, left yeah, one in there yeah, before. I'll be, yeah, I'll be getting if you got, getting yeah, just um, pick out what you want there. And, uh, but they're good reading. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Flat one, four, four. I don't know what all I got. I got a bunch of them in here. Gosh. During a turret. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah I'll put you a couple good. in there. That's good. <laughs> Yeah. I like them jalapenos. Yeah, me too, man. Let me have one right now. One thing about it, they'll go through you, too. <laughs> if you've got problems with eating too much cheese, that'll undo it. <laughs> that's why That's why you eat tacos with that and cheese and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, the cheese and all that stuff stop you up. That'll unstop you. Okay. That's the liquid plumber. Okay. <laughs> Well, I'd come out the right time then to, to meet the peer preacher. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. I ain't something glad you're because I, I, I was telling him about you. I think I've mentioned you. Well, I've heard, I've heard the mother talk over there that somebody else was coming out there to him, um, the, the preacher and his wife, and um, but I've never met him. And I, and I heard from y'all. I kept hearing, and I'm like, I don't ever see him. So like, eventually the Lord will yeah, open yeah, the yeah, door yeah, and yeah, run yeah, send yeah, each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm glad. Yeah, yeah, I got a chance to cross paths and get to know one another. <clears throat> yeah, cause he, he's like you. He's a good, good, good guy. Good guy. I, I mean, I've been blessed to meet people. Well, that's that good. Him. Cause he's been like really kind of like my best friend. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. He's yeah, good, and, if, oh. and if they just started out here, they need to. You know, they still need to be careful. Yeah. Uh, the other day. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. And um, I'm thinking about doing some fried shrimp. One time, bring some fried shrimp yeah, out here. Yeah, that sounds cool. I love that. That's my favorite. Well, shrimp and season's coming in next month. Yeah, that's my and, favorite. And um, get some. Right, right, right. And I'm gonna I'm gonna batter them. I'm yeah. not gonna get them out of a box. I'm gonna yeah. go out and catch them. Yeah, yeah. Oh man. Peel them and fry them up. And uh, do that. I like to catch some fish, which I got my boat going now, so I'm going to go out and catch some fish, get some shrimp, okay. and um, see if we can't have a, you know, one day come out here and be able to bring you some coleslaw hush puppies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> All right, Terry. Be good, buddy. All right. Let me... I've seen things along the way I've seen trouble and I've seen things And through it all I've had no fears See, I had a friend who was always near If the sun were to fall the ocean were to dry and the mountains were to crumble I wouldn't bat an eye for I stand upon a rock The rock of all the ages, no matter what may come Storms around me rages, I stand, I stand upon, upon What never, never changes, changes. And sometimes it may seem bleak We're just human, we are weak Take it from me when the road gets 
drug He'll be there to pick you up And if the sun were to fall If the ocean were to dry If the mountains were to crumble I wouldn't bat an eye For I'd stand upon a rock A rock of all the ages No matter what may come Storms around me rages. I stand, I stand upon. I never change. I never change. Never changes